I'm calling one of my friends, a friend of mine. She came in on a B-1 visa, and uh, she got married in the process of that marriage to a U.S. citizen. You know, they never, like, turned in, like, a birth certificate or something like that, so it was getting drugged out and drugged out. They've been married for, like, two years now. Now, in process, she's been going through some abuse. Okay, now, recently, today, I went with her lawyer, you know, with, with her to her lawyer's office. She asked me to go for some support, you know, from this uh, situation that she's been in. And her lawyer recommended that she get divorced before she applied for the VAWA. I, I didn't think that sounded right. No. You I mean, don't, do you think that's good? At no, I think that's bad advice. I think you can file for the VAWA. Hopefully it gets extended. You shouldn't get divorced. Because when you get divorced on a VAWA, you're giving yourself a two-year statute of limitations to get everything filed. You can file a VAWA any time in your life, but up to two years from a divorce. I just met with somebody who was mm -hmm. physically abused. They went to a lawyer. The lawyer said, get a divorce. They don't know what's going on with their case. And it turns out the lawyer never filed any VAWA case for them. The divorce happened more than two years ago. And guess what? She can't file anything now. It's a very sad situation because you can't file more than two years after a divorce. So my opinion is, I mean, if you get a divorce because it makes you feel good, you get a divorce because maybe you want to marry somebody else, but it doesn't help your VAWA case at all. It actually hurts it. It gives you a statute of limitations. Okay, so it limits you down to Correct. two years. Correct. How could she get a consultation with you guys? Because she spent quite a bit all right, hold on. on that lawyer, and I thought that was some very bold advice. Yeah, I agree. Hold on one second. All right.